I'm just going to double check now that we're inside the room. Negative pressure room to ante room and outside team. Can you hear me? Over. Here to that clear. Over. Can you hear us from the ante room? Over. Confirm that. Over. Confirm. Outside team, can you hear? Confirm. Over. I can hear you too. Confirm. Thank you. Over. So our walkies are working. We use a laminated dump kit for inside the room. This allows our primary intubator to organize his or her equipment and have it laid out all in front of them. As it's laminated, it can be easily cleaned and wiped down after the procedure. Our airway nurse also has their own table so that they can lay out whatever they may need. Another small table is located in the room just beside the door. Equipment that's not already in the room can be placed on this table by our team in the anteroom. Our airway team is ready, our anteroom team is ready, and our outside the room team is ready. Now let's prepare our environment. So we're going to start now with a room layout check. Negative pressure room to anteroom, outside room, we're about to do our room layout check. Over. We suggest a standardized approach to room layout much like you see here. Feel free to adapt this to your own negative pressure room. Do we have 360 degrees of bed axis if we need it? Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. Okay, we have our airway kit assembled, yeah. ready. Uh, Jacqueline, we have an IV place that's yes. functioning. Yep, yeah, absolutely. We have a garbage the patient's head for you, Lacey. Yeah. Uh, we have a receptacle for the contaminated stuff we do. Um, I'll be your team lead at the foot of the bed. Our drugs are almost out and in the room. So, the ventilator's in reach, Lacey? Yes. Okay. And are you going to preset it? Yes. Yes. So we're going to preset our vent. Uh, Jacqueline, mm -hmm. you can actually start um, drawing up our RSI medications. Perfect. I think Mr. Kobe's under 100 kilograms. I think you're correct, yep. Yeah. We like to keep things easy to reduce error. Therefore, we use a very simplified approach when it comes to both induction and paralytic agents for our COVID patients. I used a very uh, simple approach. Um, we're going to use um, ketamine as our induction agent and rocuronium as our paralytic. So if we could have 100 milligrams of ketamine and 100 milligrams of rock, please. Yeah. Okay, I'll get those drawn up now. Um, our dump kit's assembled, Lacey. You're happy with your equipment? Yes. Um, and we have a plastic drape if we need it. Is everybody happy moving forward from here? I am. Yep, I'm ready. Always remember the importance of checking back with your team members during any resuscitation. As a team leader, ensure that you provide updates to your team. That way, your entire team is on the same page moving forward. Also, ensure that you take regular pauses to allow your team to communicate back to you. This will allow for a shared mental model moving forward during the resuscitation. Yes, we do. Airway kit on the patient's right? Yes. Airway nurse confirms IV placement and function? Correct. It's working. Garbage at the patient's head? Yes. Team leader at the foot of the bed? Our RSI drugs are drawn off and ready on our table. Uh, our ventilator's in reach of our primary intubator, preset. Preset. Okay. Um, and our dump kit is all assembled with all our airway equipment ready to go. Confirm team room layout check is completed. We're moving forward with pre oxygenating the patient. Over. At this point in time, we've had our oxygen going with a non rebreather um, and we have a surgical mask over top. So let's start uh, pre oxygenation period. So let's. Okay, I'll put the bed up for you. Just let me know when. Okay, we're going to let me know, Lacey, when you've changed okay. your oxygen supply to the bed valve mask. If you need anything, Lacey, just let me know. I'm on bed valve mask with a filter place. Okay, so we're about to start pre oxygenating. Um, if you could just note um, Lacey's two handed grip with the VE technique. Um, we have a viral filter in place. 
We have a PEEP valve to provide the patient with some PEEP, and we're not going to squeeze our bag. And we're not going to squeeze our bag. Confirm pre-oxygenation beginning. We're going to start a timer for three minutes. Uh, Anti-routine, if you could confirm and start timing as per the clock on the wall. So we have our three-minute timer going. We're pre-oxygenating our patient. Now's a good time to run through your RSI checklist if you have one. Most departments already use an RSI checklist prior to intubation. This provides another layer of safety and preparedness that the team can use prior to undergoing this risky procedure. So very quickly, I'm going to confirm with the team. So uh, we have a SAP probe, three-lead ECG attached. Yes, we do. Blood pressure on three-minute cycles. Yes, we do. We have our vital signs. Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, we have a bag valve mask, two-handed seal, and our PEEP valve's on. Yes. What's our PEEP at? Five. Perfect. Uh, our IV is working? Yes, it's working well. Do we have hypotension, yes or no? No. No, excellent. We've identified our cricothyroid membrane in case we need to do a surgical airway. Perfect. Ear disternal notch alignment? Yes. Uh, why are we doing RSI? We're doing RSI because this patient has respiratory distress secondary to his uh, COVID-19 infection. Um, bed height is at your navel, Lacey? Yes. You're happy? Yes. Uh, all your equipment's ready? Yes. And title is connected and ready? Yes. Suction's pre-positioned and on. Yes. Excellent. Our plan A for best laryngoscopy, Lacey, is going to be what? The McGrath video laryngoscopy. Okay, so in this situation we want to use uh, video laryngoscopy over direct uh, to keep away from the patient's mouth as much as possible. Our plan B, in case that doesn't work? An eye gel and anterior. Excellent. Plan C? Front of the neck access. Okay, so we're going plan A, plan B, and plan C. Our second intubator will enter the room if we hit plan B. Whether you opt to have plan A through C or A through D, keep in mind that your team leader likely has experience in airway management. Therefore, the team leader could potentially move to the head of the bed to become the primary intubator at this point. Your team leader then becomes task-oriented, focusing his or her attention on intubation. This then leaves your airway nurse to take command and maintain situational awareness of the room. Uh, who's giving the drugs? I am. Uh, is there any signs of shock? No? No, everything, his vitals are okay. We estimated the patient's weight under 100 kilos, yep. so we're going to go with ketamine 100 milligrams IV. Yep. Rocky Ronium 100 milligrams yep. IV. Got them all drawn up and ready to go. Excellent. RSI checklist checks out. RSI checklist confirmed. Um, just waiting for three minutes up of pre oxygenation before we move to intubation. Confirm. Yeah. This is the intubation. Uh, three minutes has elapsed to this point, so you're good for pre oxygenation. Over. Okay. So at this point in time, we're going to move on to intubation. We pre oxygenated. Lacey, are you ready? I am. Jacqueline, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. After Jacqueline gives the drugs, um, Jacqueline is then freed up to help Lacey as a, um, an airway assistant, or myself as team lead can do the same. This can be very fluid amongst your team and you can decide in the moment or outside the room in your pre-brief. We're ready? We are ready. So Jacqueline, you may give the drugs. So okay. let's start. 100 milligrams of ketamine. Push, yep. please. All right, you've got the 100 milligrams of ketamine. You're good, Lacey. Yeah. Okay, pushed, and it's in. Followed by 100 of rock. And the rock is in. And a flush, please. Okay, so now we're going to set the timer. Intubation medications in, setting timer for 60 seconds. Confirm. 60 seconds is uh, set. Confirm. So we're going to move on to intubation. Uh, 60 seconds has passed. Our video scope's on, Lacey. Yep. We're going to turn off our wall oxygen to make sure we don't spray any virus from the bag valve mask around the room. Check. Off. Uh, uh, oxygen is off. Bag valve mask to the side. Yep. Okay. And Lacey's going to intubate. Yep. Okay. Stylet. Perfect. The gauze. The gauze is here. And I will make sure you've got there. Shift through. Put the cuff up, please. Yep. 
Yep. Perfect. And we clamped. Yep. And title then goes on. Blue viral filter. I've got the placement. And connected to the vent. And I clamp. In a tracheal tube, push the vent on and watch for entitle on a monitor. Please. Yep. Perfect. And we clamped. Yep. And title then goes on. Blue viral filter. I've got the placement. And then connected to the vent. And I clamp. In a tracheal tube, push the vent on and watch for entitle on a monitor. And title seems to be good. Excellent. And title confirm ventilator on. And I'll secure And we'll secure our two. Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you have a seven and a half at 22 at the left. Okay, perfect. I'll document that when I get over to my table. And what you'll notice our team does is after securing, we are not going to auscultate to confirm two placement. Successful intubation of patient team, uh, cross-checking with you moving forward uh, to post-intubation care. Are you good here? Water. Yep. That's clear. Uh, 